Congratulations. Thank you. Torch Song Trilogy. That's right. First oh. the film, then the video. Then the video. Yeah. But does the movie, what, I mean, Annie Bancroft. Michael Feinstein, Michael Feinstein, Harvey Firestein, Harvey, I, Michael Feinstein. Yeah, right. we're, getting, we're getting started on, on a musical note. Harvey Firestein, Ken uh -huh. Page, Axel, Vera Axel. Yeah. Why did they choose you for that particular role? Because, you know, you're such a, you've been in nightclubs, television, movies, everything, but how did you feel by doing that? They well, I loved you. it. I did loved you? doing uh, Torch Song Trilogy. You know, I had, we had, well, I think, uh, seven, eight weeks work. Uh -huh. I wasn't, you know, on the set every day. Uh -huh. And you know what part I played. Wonderful. Birth of a Nation. Right. <laughs> You look great. All in red. Happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays, and you too. Charles Pierce. Where is Charles Pierce? Watertown, New York. Is that where you're from? Watertown, New York. Yes, that's the hometown. Yeah. I understand you started in radio? Radio. Tell 16 years old. World War II was on. They couldn't get any radio announcers, and I was in high school, and I appeared on a kiddies show called Kitty's Carnival at the Avon Theater, you know, in, uh -huh. in uh, motion picture theaters that don't exist anymore. Right. The Avon Theater. Uh, and, and this is in New York, up at New York State. Uh, Watertown, New York. Watertown. And I, I, I gave Patrick Henry's speech. Uh-huh. Give me liberty <laughs> or give me death. <laughs> Charles Pierce. Arthur Blake. Mm, like Every time friend. I think of Arthur Blake, I think of Charles Pierce because, you know, Charles, you, you and Arthur Blake are from the old school. Yes, well, that's, uh, Arthur's the reason I'm working today. I tried to sell him material, uh -huh. and he didn't, he said, well, this is much too prolific. It was a whole, like, four pages on the return of Norma Desmond. Uh-huh. From, some, remember in Sunset Boulevard, she gets taken away at the end. Right. Well, the premise of my nightclub act originally was what if, what if uh -huh. Betty Davis had played Scarlett O'Hara, uh -huh. and we wrote a skit, mm -hmm. the birthing scene, and, uh, then what if Eleanor Roosevelt uh -huh. came back from Mexico? Olé, uh -huh. olé, uh -huh. any old lay. <laughs> and what if uh -huh. Norma Desmond got out of prison and then went home? Uh -huh. first, mm. first time, how old were you when you had a high heels, gown, getting on stage, entertaining <laughs> as, as a yes. woman? Drag, drag power. Drag power. What, how old were you? Well, I was probably 23 or 4, but you really? see... Really? Well, Not yes, late. after Arthur rejected these uh, buying my material, uh -huh. then I said, I'll do it myself. And then that's what I did it at parties. Uh -huh. And they had passed the hat. Uh -huh. And then one thing led to another, <laughs> and I ended up in Club La Vie in Altadena, California. Ah. $75 a week and my evening meal, uh -huh. which was a hamburger. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you started out here in California then? Oh, certainly, yes. I graduated from the Pasadena Playhouse to be an actor. Ah. And then I realized that I could have a weekly salary coming in uh -huh. with nightclubs, mm -hmm. you see, rather than a uh, carriage awaits my lord mm -hmm. type role once every two or three months. Were you writing your material then for doing your act? What was your first lady out there doing impressions? Eleanor Roosevelt and then Betty Davis. But Eleanor Roosevelt again from Mexico. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, Betty Davis, uh -huh. Scarlett O'Hara. Uh -huh. The birthing scene. Uh -huh. Butterfly McQueen. Miss Scarlett, I don't know nothing about birthing uh -huh. babies. Uh -huh. And. Uh, Catherine Hepburn on the old African queen coming closer uh -huh. to the rapids up ahead. S did it seem easy for you to do those voices at that time, Charles, going? Very easy. It, really? Very easy to pick up on them, uh -huh. more so than today. People say, like, you know, why don't you update your act? Why don't you do B. Arthur or right. Estelle Getty or uh -huh. some of the designing women? Designing girls. women, yes, right. But tell me, I, I just don't understand. 
I don't Roosevelt. understand either. Roosevelt. <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor, yeah. Wonderful character. That is, uh, there was a man used to do that too. I can't remember. Well, that was Arthur Blake, Blake again Arthur with the knitting Blake. needles and the girl's scalp. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Mm. But I, Betty Davis, those days, everybody was personating Betty Davis. Why they do you still think, are. Why do you think they pick her? Mostly. Oh, don't you think because the way she moves, the way she acts, the, her bitchiness, uh, you the know, what she like says. The gays like that. Is that what they do? Oh, of course. Like that? Have you ever seen a, a woman imitate Betty Davis properly? Ah, I see. Huh. See, <laughs> don't you think it takes a man to do Betty Davis? You sing, Charles. You do a lot of singing in your act. You Novelty do. songs. Novelty. Little, little patter songs. But you do yeah. Carol Channing. You do. Well, of course, darling. I do Carol. How does Carol feel about Charles Pierce? Doing well, I think I told you this before. She came when I was doing Gold Street in San Francisco, and she uh -huh. said, What well, would Charles? You do me better than I do. <laughs> I love your hat. Thank That's you. A great yeah, hat. I'm always going in these stores, and I see all these hats, and I've got a whole shelf full of hats, uh -huh. and I never wear them, so I, love I decided I I'd. Charles, you brought dress a video for, for us. I love what you just did. You did a wonderful show called. Designing women. Designing women. Yes, yes. I love. Uh, you brought the clip with us. Well, actually, we we better clarify that. I did this about a year ago. Okay. Yeah. So can we show that clip of designing women? I'd love to have you because you're show doing. It. Are you doing uh, Joan Collins? Well, I'm the steward. Okay. On the ship, uh -huh. the, the girls have come. The designing women have right. come to um, redecorate this ship. Okay. Let's let's just show right. So I mean, I think it's self-explanatory. Okay. But I mean, as the waiter, uh -huh. uh, I mean, I am Joan Collins because, uh -huh. as, as explained, they they have a rough time in the kitchen. Let's just watch okay. it. Okay. Watch this. Designing women. Thank you. Nothing's. Has that ever happened to you? No. <laughs> Ladies, may I take your order? Oh, it's Joan Collins. You're going to be our waitress again, huh? Actually, darling, I'm tonight's entertainment. But they were shorthanded in the kitchen. I see you two are still cruising. <laughs> well, never give up. That's the spirit. Aren't you the person who brought our bags on board? Yes, I am. And I know what you're thinking. You think that this is your wig. But it's not. I've had this wig a long, long time. It just looks very, very similar. Ladies and gentlemen, Renner Cruise Lines is proud to present tonight's dinner entertainment, the queen of the high seas, Mr. Claude LaBelle. Oh, darling, hold it, I'll make a big change. I just cannot believe it. Did you all see that? He's got my wig on. That's my wig. He stole it. Sure? Of course I'm sure. I had that hair grown special for me. I'm just going to have to report him to the police. Suzanne, don't make a big deal of it. Just let him have it. Anyway, he looks real good, in it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Betty Davis. Thank you, darling. Hold those for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. <laughs> what a cruise. Tell me, darlings, was that Joan Collins hustling the tables? Ah! She's got to go. One bitch on this boat is enough. <laughs> Tammy Faye Baker is with us tonight. I saw her on the deck. Her makeup fell off. It was horrible. Her face is that big. <laughs> and Catherine Hepburn. You do remember Catherine with that buzz saw voice. Oh, hello, Betty. <laughs> when Spencer Tracy met me, he said, Kate, I'm a man and you're a woman. Well, I was happy. It was the first time. Charles, I, I can't believe that. Her. Joan Collins, does she ever... Did she ever see you? No, Joan Collins never did. Never? Betty Davis never saw me. Oh, yes, she did. Nope. I sent her a tape, the last uh, first show you Oh, did. no, I'm talking about Betty Davis coming to a night to, to your performance? Yeah. She has never seen you? Never. I can't And imagine. she never will, will she? Why do you think that? Because you she, I think that um, possibly in the past, Arthur Blake might have had something to do with it, because uh -huh. in those days, and I say those early 50s, right. Betty was younger, she was going out to nightclubs. Right. 
uh, as the years went on, she would, I was either making a film or staying at home, and she never, she didn't want to go out to, uh -huh. to night clubbing, we'll say, yes, yes, uh, yes. in the past. Oh, I see. Recent past. Do you enjoy working clubs better than the theater, uh, Charles? You well, you know, yeah. last September was my 35th anniversary. In show business? Well, in the, in the clubs. In, in the clubs. And so since then, I said 35 years, that's a long time mm -hmm. to be in the smoke. I mean, I love it. Right. But uh, the, and the drinks and, and people and all that, I, I'm going to take a break. So I've been demi-retired since your September. What's your favorite city? San Francisco, would you say? Cause you well, people ask me that. You know, there, there are there is San Francisco, and that has its own atmosphere, and it's it's fun, uh -huh. the fun people. There's Los Angeles. Uh -huh. All the celebrities come to see me. A lot of, a lot of. Uh, Where do you work, Charles? At the Black Lot here in Los Angeles. Studio One. Studio I one. played the Black Lot. I've also done Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. Yes, oh, that I saw you. At. Yeah, you were wonderful. And then remember, the show was uh, filmed for uh, the Playboy Channel. Exactly. And right. that's still shown out there. Uh -huh. in the dark somewhere. You have Betty Davis's cards here, I see. What are these well, new cards? Well, actually, you see, yeah. they're not Betty Davis's cards. Okay. They, these are cards that I put out through West Graphics. Okay. So, so it's, it's Betty, uh -huh. and uh, there's a whole way I've got I uh, love 30, 30 cards. Yeah. Different so we cards. Got, what is this? My dear, don't tell me how old you are. Inside, it's written all over your face. <laughs> happy birthday. That's a happy birthday card. That's cute. Now, this is the one that's out, of uh, course, of the holidays. I can't see that, Charles. Oh, like you that. can't? No, uh, how's like that? that. That's good. What is that? How's that? That's, that's Tallulah. Me. Oh, Tallulah. Uh, at a bar. Uh huh. With uh, her hat is uh -huh. a Christmas wreath. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. And it says, Darling, you're like my Christmas tree when I first get it. <laughs> No balls. <laughs> That's cute. Do you and, ever meet Wait, wait, one more. I want to yeah. show. Yeah. This is the Baby Jane uh -huh. card. Can it, uh, you know, it baby costs Jane. to be pretty. Great. It really costs to be pretty. Have a Baby Jane Christmas. That means you get nothing, Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever met Tulula Bankhead? The closest I came to Tallulah was her sister, Eugenia Bankhead, uh -huh. who came to see my show at Bimbo Supper Club in, in San Francisco. Francisco, but I never met Tallulah. I saw her uh -huh. in Private Lives uh -huh. twice, uh -huh. and that's the closest I got to, to Tallulah, darling. She was great, wasn't she? Oh, she was great. Glamorous, fabulous, what, mad. Do you, you have her in there? Do you have Actually, Tallulah? she's on the floor back you here. Tallulah back there. I want to see this Tallulah. This is Tallulah, darling. Tallulah? You, mean, you may think it's an old dog yes. <laughs> that I brought to your studio, darling. <laughs> All right. You want me to do Tallulah? I'd love to see Oh, Tallulah. let's. Why not? It's she's my Christmas favorite. time. And she's my favorite. Everything is festive, darling. Uh -huh. Is that... Is that all right, darling? Uh -huh. The minute you put the wig on, uh -huh. you sort of go into the voice, darling. But I, I decided that this time I should have some lipstick. You know, darling, uh -huh. this is the third show we've done. This is like our own court song trilogy with right. Michael Feinstein. <laughs> I mean, honey, <laughs> my son. <laughs> ah. Tell me, uh, oh, you, my God. Uh -huh. How long does Charles Pierce take to put makeup on when he does perform? Well, let's not count today because I but, haven't done the eyes uh -huh. and. Uh, but it takes you. I like, don't have a. How long would you say? Base. Forty minutes. Mm, yeah, get I'd ready. say forty. Forty. Forty-five. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So you really get right there. And how many changes do you right. do on stage? Eight. Eight changes. Eight changes. Really? When I when I do my full length show. Uh huh. Now for you, darling, I I haven't worn earrings in the past, but I thought, uh -huh. what the <laughs> hell? Let's let's be glamorous and fabulous, darling. I uh -huh. I must. Oh. I must put this oh, on, darling. Looks like you had one of your gallstones removed. <laughs> <laughs> darling, that's my kidney stone. <laughs> you know, I should... Uh, well, I should have a cigarette, shouldn't I? Yeah. I should tell your viewers what you did to me today, darling. What did I... I'll never forgive you. Well, you see, it was like this, darling. You see, when Skippy Lowe called me... You oh. did call me, didn't yes, you, darling? I, did. I expected a limo to pick me up. Oh, excuse Wrong! <laughs> nah. He didn't even send a radio dispatch cab! <laughs> well, there wasn't even a Toyota four-wheel drive. You know how I showed up today, don't you, yeah. darling? How did you? In a small car with a sign on the top <laughs> that said, Domino Pizza Delivers. <laughs> <laughs> did you get any pizza on the way? Uh, did I, darling? <laughs> did, I, did I tell you? Uh-huh. He braked, and I ended up with a pizza in my mouth. I looked like a Ubangi drag queen. <laughs> Where does Tallulah spend a there lot? We are, darling. Where does Tallulah spend a lot of time? Here in Southern California, or back in New York? Darling, but, I thought you knew. I died ten years ago. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I'm up in heaven, darling. Yeah. You know, I checked into heaven with a gorgeous sailor and a beautiful marine. Uh -huh. You heard the story, didn't you? No, I didn't. And Saint Peter said, "Now look." 
You three, if you think dirty thoughts up here in heaven, your wings will crumple and fall off. <laughs> well, I walked past the sailor, and his wings crumpled and fell off. <laughs> As he bent over to pick them up, the Marine's wings crumpled and fell off. <laughs> Thank you, Raleigh. You do all your own material, Charles. You think about it. Ah, you're interviewing me as Tallulah or yeah. Charles. Oh, it doesn't Tallulah, matter. Tallulah, it doesn't matter. But, but yeah, of course, darling, I, I, I have my Tallulah stories. You know, uh -huh. I've told you my Tallulah stories. Why does Tallulah and Betty Davis argue all the time? They do have a, a bitchy attitude. Yes, we do, darling. But quoi? Why? Yeah. I thought I told you that. No. No, because never... Betty Davis always played on film parts that I created on Broadway. Ah. Little Foxes. Oh, all those shows, darling. Ah. Oh, yeah, she grabbed them, darling, just said, oh, this is my role. Hmm. Don't you think I'm more Margot Channing ah. than Betty Davis? Ah, I You're absolutely right. I, I said that. to Betty one time, you know, Betty, darling, are you putting on weight or are my eyeballs getting fat? <laughs> what a girdle you're wearing or a retaining wall? <laughs> May I say something to you? I love to see your friend, Catherine Hepburn. Well, she's over here, is too. She? Hold on. I love to see Catherine, Catherine Hepburn. Catherine, you see? Is Catherine, Catherine I don't there? know whether... Well, to keep the we'll earrings keep the earrings on. On. Yes. Catherine. I love Yes, yes, to yes. Now, uh, wait, wait, wait. Is the camera on us? Yes. Because I can the, do it this way, you yes. see? Yeah. Catherine. Isn't that uh, mad? Uh, Catherine. Catherine. You see, and the wig is a little old. It's, look at the powder. Oh, yes, yes, darling. Yes. It's not powder, darling. It's old. Old? old. This is me, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, darling. I love it. <laughs> oh, I haven't had this wig on since I did the African Queen. <laughs> no one you'd know. <laughs> you enjoy doing Catherine, do you? Uh, well, of course, darling. Wait a minute, darling. I'm doing, I'm doing Tallulah. I okay. haven't gotten into Catherine oh, yet. Yeah, Chad, there, oh. I think that looks much better, oh, don't yes, you? Oh. Is it all right? Yes. Yes, Wonderful. Catherine. Oh, yes. Oh, now, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, skip Cat me. No, this is Catherine Hepburn. Let me let me check here. Oh, you look golly. wonderful. Why you still ride your bike around New York? Oh, Cat up and down through Central Park, my dear. And the other day, these gay rapists of Central Park grabbed me. Uh, the two men, one held me down, one did my hair. <laughs> <laughs> then, then we went to my apartment where they rearranged the furniture. Was it difficult working with Humphrey Bogart? Oh, I loved Humphrey. Did you? Rally and the African Queen. Going up the river into the deepest part of the Belgian Congo. Uh, I loved Humphrey and Bowie, you mean. Ah, uh, but Spencer Tracy. Come on, oh, really, Spence. tell me the Spence. truth about Spencer, Miss Hepburn. Really? Well, you mean, are you saying that Spencer and I had an affair? No, 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 not an affair. But you were very, very close. You were friends, not just... You were oh, totally darling, I adored friend. Spencer Tracy. He was my favorite. He, yes, we, let's face what it, What made darling. you adore Spencer Tracy? What made I you was, adore him? He was the most marvelous actor, don't you think? I think he was an absolutely sensational actor. Uh-huh. He always told the students of the theater. Yes. He said, remember your lines, don't bump into the furniture, uh -huh. and... Don't let them see you sweat. That's true. Thank you. That's Catherine, tell me, who's your favorite director? Who was your favorite? Well, I Who suppose uh, uh, Cecil B. Cukor? De Mille. How about Cukor? <laughs> what? That George Cukor. George Cukor. Okay. George Cukor. Oh, oh, George, yes, he, he was my favorite. I'm glad you cued me. Yes. I, I went mentally blank okay. there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you live in New York. Why does Catherine Hepburn live in New York in the cold? Oh, you I love... wouldn't live here in California permanently. No way. You never did like California. Smog, smog. So you prefer New York? Oh, jogging through Central Park every uh -huh. day. You know, uh -huh. I jog backwards to put on weight. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't smoke, but I will. You've never seen Catherine Hepburn smoke, have you? No, I haven't. Not well, I'm, I'm working up a new act, and I'm not nervous. <laughs> you see, I, I think you'll agree the opening will be wonderful. I come on with boys, and we uh -huh. sing, uh -huh. Shaking the Blues Away. Uh -huh. I think that'll go. What's happening with Katherine Hepburn? Is she doing a new film right now, Miss Hepburn? Or are you just uh, going to be doing I'm theater? I'm just or easy, dear. Just, just sitting back in my apartment. What is the day like for Miss Hepburn? What... Well, what believe time? it or not, I'm up at 5 o'clock in the morning making brownies. 
<laughs> oh, yes, that's true. I really am. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, I answer my fan mail and uh -huh. fluff up my old coolie hat. Well, anyway, this is a welcome Christmas for me. Thank this you. is a nice Christmas is our present. Time almost yes, up? Charles Pierce, I want to thank you for. No, no, you can. I want well, to. I want to see Betty Davis. Wait there is here. Betty? Oh, yeah, let's stick her. I on. would love to see Betty. Let's stick I didn't on know Betty. you had. Betty. Oh, okay. yes, yes, yes. Are we ready? We have three wonderful ladies. Tallulah, if Catherine, I can to do and voice Betty. Now. I would love to see Betty. Now, let's just see. I just grabbed this wig. I want to know why Betty Davis treats people as bitches all the time. Everybody you yell at, you treat them mm -hmm. like they're bitches. Why? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's because they are. Ah, okay. You know, I, I saw your friend Shelley Winters the other day. Yes. Did I tell you that? Yes. No, you did not tell me. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. Standing on a corner in a blue and white sweater, a man came along and put a letter in her mouth. <laughs> she ate it. Ah, but she's losing weight. Shelly Winters, yeah. she's losing 30 pounds. She has already lost. I'm so and happy to hear that. She is, she's doing fine. And Delta Burke, what about her? Why are you so bitchy with people, Miss Davis? Why do I've you... already told you, they're always bitchy with me. Delta no. Burke especially. But I, I've got good news and bad news for you. Yes. Well, the good news is that Delta Burke has had four ribs removed. Uh -huh. So she can be slender and svelte. <laughs> the bad news is she ate them. <laughs> Is that bitchy did you, enough? Yes. Did you enjoy doing All About Eve? Was that a tailored-made film for Miss Davis? It was my best film next to Jane, baby Jane Hudson. All About Eve is Margot Channing, and you know, it was a fluke that I got that. How did you get it? Well, Claudette Colbert uh -huh. was slated for the role, mm -hmm. but for baby poor Jane. Poor Claudette injured her back. Ha! Ah. And Betty did. how? Miss Davis, Joan Crawford. Difficult working with? Evil, Did... evil Miss Crawford. Why do you call her evil? She was. Would I say otherwise? So Christina Crawford wrote the book Mommy Dearest. Yes. Is that true, you believe? Do you believe that? Well, I believe everything about Joan. I worked with her. You've, you've seen the new book that's out on us, haven't you? It's called The Divine Feud. Right. How evil she was to me. And, of course, I must admit... I was a little evil to her. Why oh. do you don't like Faye Dunaway? You work with Miss Faye Dunaway. I thought you knew the story on that. There are no ashtrays there. That's okay. Thank you. I know. I didn't know the story on Faye Dunaway, and you were She worked... kept an entire church congregation of extras. Uh huh. She kept us waiting. I was the starring with James Woods. Right. In that Amy Semple McPherson show. Right. She kept us waiting in the heat for. Six hours. I finally got up to entertain them, and I did impressions of Charles Pierce. I see. <laughs> so you don't believe a star should let people wait? See, you are you're old, you're from the old school. Oops. That's right. You are from the old school. So that you means... know, Skippy. In the good old days, when Warner Brothers. Right. You know, I did have a limo take me to the studio, and I had makeup people waiting for me. Right. I had marvelous directors. Now, how do I get to the studio? I'm out on the Pacific Coast Highway, uh -huh. hitchhiking to the studio. Uh -huh. I'm lucky if Anne Margaret comes along on a motorcycle and picks me up. I want Awful! Betty Davis, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And thank and you. And a Merry Christmas to you, And I friend. love to talk to Charles Pierce for one moment, if I can get back to Charles Pierce. Let's take I everything off I love to see Charles just for one minute. I love it. Charles Pierce, normal. normal. Right. Charles Pierce. Okay. What, oh. is, what is Charles Pierce... You've been retiring for a little while. You just... Wait you know, a minute. Been is away. this going to look good with the big red lips? Oh, dear. Oh, it's okay. It looks Charles. weird, Charles, doesn't it? That's fine. Charles... I should be doing cabaret. That's fine. Oh. But you are... You've been retired. You've been doing things... Not doing things. You're going... Are you, what's happening with Charles Pierce? Are you going back to work again? Well, I, I... Somebody said back there the last half hour, you know, that it's 35 years. Right. And I'm just having a wonderful time doing the Skippy Low show. Uh-huh. Chance to go to Chicago, go to go to Chicago in uh -huh. February. Let's uh -huh. say that ten times fast. Going to go to Chicago in February. Uh -huh. Do a one nighter. Yes. Uh, things that I want to do. I don't want to know 
that in April of 1990, uh -huh. I'm doing two weeks in New York City. Uh -huh. I want to know that. I just want to know maybe four weeks ahead. Charles Pierce. Has Charles Pierce been really happy in all these 35 years as an entertainer dressing with all these wonderful ladies, performing to that audience out there, giving your great talent? Has Charles Pierce really been happy? I think I, I have been happy, yes. Or I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have reached this goal. I would have given up the ladies a long, long time ago if I said, oh, I can't do this anymore. So I, you have no regrets? I have no regrets. And I was thinking the other day, I, what I've liked about this career is that I have been more or less my own boss. Uh huh. I have been the one to say, I'll you take that engagement. Mm -hmm. I will be the one to say, oh, I've got to work up this routine. There wasn't somebody coming in saying, here, yes. there's your new routine, do it. Uh -huh. I, I've, I have been pretty much in control of my own career. So when you're on the road as Charles Pierce, you, mm -hmm. are, you are a one-man man. You do your own thing. You have... You don't need anybody to do your Well, wait, that, I've got my production coordinator, my musical comedy uh, the director, uh, right. uh, my Miss Joan Edgar, uh -huh. pianist. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm in but charge you travel of them. A, yes, you tra but mm -hmm. you travel alone, always, on, on, on the road. You have no... I don't have a review with me. That's Is what that I mean. what you mean? Yes. Yeah. No, no. You've never worked in a review, have you, Charles? Never. And that's why people have come to me of recent recently and said, oh, you've got to do a whole evening with Betty Davis. I uh -huh. said, mm, no, I think I do enough in the act as uh -huh. Betty. Uh -huh. But if someone came along to uh -huh. put a review together, we'll say with an orchestra, right. and chorus, boys and girls, and people that would I would play a sketch with, uh -huh. then that would be terrific. I would love that. But to do, uh, we'll say like an hour mm -hmm. of Betty, uh -huh. that I... No. Is there a Charles Pierce with a wig? And, and without? Uh, yeah, yeah. Is there a Charles Pierce? The trouble with Charles Pierce is, you see, I have to prepare for, quote, the ladies that right. take over in the show. Right. I see. Is that difficult for you? Well, I have to sit around and write up the routines or go through back through my mm -hmm. uh, sketches and skits and say, oh, yeah, I remember mm -hmm. that line. Uh -huh. Like... Not having done anything uh -huh. today, uh -huh. um, it, uh, as of today, I haven't done a show in uh -huh. many, many months. Uh -huh. So I had to run to get some lines yes, yes, out yes. of my file. Files, I see. Like the Tallulah uh, with her is Charles, Domino Pizza. Entrance. Is Charles Pierce religion? I mean, have, are you religion? I mean, re very spiritual? I, I have said, oh God, help me uh -huh. on many occasions. Or a guiding force is there. I think uh -huh. I have. I am not a church attender. Uh -huh. Do you remember a, a gentleman by the name of Ray Bourbon, I who said, died in jail? He was a female impersonator. Well, I knew Ray. Wonderful gentleman. Yeah. Wonderful. They should do his life story, and they should do Charles Pierce's life story too. Someday they will. They, are you writing the book right now? I've started it, and then I got bored with it, and I stopped, and... Why? Why, Charles? I don't know. I yeah. just... Do you get bored easily? I no, I don't think people are interested in this, at least not right now. Oh, yes, they are. You think so? Yes. It's I ready. would be inspired. Boy, would I be inspired. Yeah, yeah, because... If somebody came along and said, here's an advance of $100,000, right. <laughs> because you have a lot to say right now. You really do. You've been around all over the world. And as as your own man, your own person, 